Hey guys, I'm back with another custom figure. So here's my Lego Lord of the Rings Elendil minifigure. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but yeah. So I tried to mainly focus on the helmet, so the body and leg isn't going to have as much detail, but I think I did a really good job on the helmet. So I'll save the best part for last. So let's get onto the body first. Let me take off the stand. So as a weapon, I gave him this silver uh, knight hero sword. I just didn't want to pay extra money to order a, uh, one from Brickforge, so I just decided to use that as Narsil, his sword. That's that. So here is the figure himself. Overall, I think it came out to be pretty nice. Uh, so for the feet, I put this... It's not a skirt, I forgot the exact name, but it's like a, kind of like a robe, sort of, I'm not sure. But that's that, and that's his armor piece. He had like this, he was wearing red under it, so that's that. And this is all paper, I didn't draw anything on this minifigure. Everything you see here is other, either custom made or just printed. So yeah, those are just printed pieces of paper. I stuck this on the armor. And on the sides of the arms, I put little gray strips I found on the internet to act as, like, the like um, the armor on the side of the arms. And a little bit on the leg, too, to act as the, like, metal boots, I guess. So, yeah, that's that. And nothing on the back. Again, I didn't, um, like, do a whole lot on the body or the feet, because I mainly want to focus on the helmet I made. So let's get on to that. So yeah, that's his face. Nothing special, but the helmet's the main part I want to show. Um, and I think overall, this is the best looking helmet I've seen by far in the internet. So, I mean, I've searched Google Images, I've looked at videos on YouTube, and just pretty much everywhere. And I think mine's is the best one. I'm not sure, but I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but... I, I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, I tried to get the designs on there. The It kind of looks like feathers. His helmet. You got the piece to protect his nose. And the cheek armor piece. And you got the same thing as the, that's on the front. On the back. And you got that back part. Protecting his neck, so... Uh, I think it looks pretty identical to the one in the movie. Now, what most of you are probably wondering is, well, how did I make it? Well, it's a long, complicated process, but w one thing I can't tell you is that this is not plastic. It's actually made from real metal, and it's not going to break. So, yeah. And, again, I can't really explain how I made it because it's a long, complicated process, which requires special tools and stuff. So it's not something you could just make at home. I went through a lot of trouble to make this, and I think all that trouble paid off because it looks pretty cool. So yeah, and there's the inside. The inside is a bit loose on the minifigure's head, but it still goes on. Like that. And I think it did turn out a little bit big, the helmet, but I mean... It was pretty tall in the movie, too, so. I'll just give you another look at the minifigure. Let me put the sword back on. And, yeah. So, here's a final look at my custom Lego Ellendale minifigure. So yeah, hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and I would great, greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe. And I don't think I've forgotten anything, but in case I have, it's probably written in the description. So please read the description in case I've forgotten anything. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.